Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am great. I am back today with the Dollar Tree haul and I found some awesome things and I also found some things that I've purchased in the past but I couldn't pass them up so I'm going to show them to you. Did you guys see what was in my thumbnail? They have scrubs. Scrubs. I saw them in two or three different stores. Three because two of them had the exact same thing and then another store had them in a almost like a navy blue color, but they were in a size 2X. And I don't know anybody in that size range that could have used them, so I didn't pick them up. But these are in a size large, really pretty turquoise, teal, whatever you want to call that color. They do have pockets in them. Very nice feeling fabric. They did come on hangers. And I want to see here on the um, on the actual hang tag, it's covered, so I can't see the name of the company. So let's look inside. It's called Carol's Scrubs. These are in a size large, which is a 12, 14, if you can see that. I don't know anything about this company, but these have to cost more than $1.25 in the store. They're just a very simple, it looks almost like a... um not wide leg, but like a, a wider straight leg pants. So yeah, I just picked up one. Our middle daughter is an RN, so I don't know if she'll be able to use these or not. If she wants them, she can have them. And if she doesn't want them, then I'll pass this along, these along to Harper in London, and they can use this just for the fabric. Um, London especially is really getting into fabric and sewing, hand sewing. Santa actually bought her a sewing machine for Christmas. Very, very crafty kids. So I figured why not? She could pick it up you know, or use this just for the fabric alone. Cut these apart and, and use it for that. So we'll see. I should have picked up a pair of the, the um, navy blue 2X just for that reason. Just for the fabric. But wasn't thinking about it when I was in the store. So if you guys are looking for scrubs, $1.25, Keep an eye out. <clears throat> like I said, I did see them in like three stores, so they are out there. So I'm just gonna throw these on the floor. And then another thing that I couldn't pass up again, guys, they had more of these number eight bucket hats. The name of the company is Layer Eight. These have a $20 price tag. This says boys, and they're in black with the, it's like a, um, stitched on number eight. These do have a um, like a chin strap with Velcro on them. And on the inside, it says toddler. But these seemed a little bit bigger than the one that I picked up a while back. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put this on my head. It will not fit my head, but I would think it would fit even the bigger grand ladies. So I picked up two of the black. The one is still in plastic. The other one I did take out. And then they had it in this really pretty light mint green. And these are called Layer 8 Girls. And what does it say? UPF 40 plus. What does it say on the inside on this tag? This one says infant. The black said toddler. This says infant. Let's see. It is definitely smaller, but I think this will actually fit. I know it'll fit the youngest grand lady, and this will probably fit her bigger sister as well. So I picked up two of those. I love having hats here at the house for when the grandkids come. We do have a pool, and in the summertime, our deck right here off of this room is our deck, and then the pool is down in the yard. This gets all of the sun on this side of the house. So the kids like to have hats, you know, when they're in and out of the pool, sitting on the deck, a hat is great. Have your kids wear hats, it's important. And eye protection, sunglasses. So I picked up those just to have here. I had picked up bucket hats years ago from the Dollar Tree. And I mean, I'm talking years ago, this is probably 12 years ago. I still have some of them and they're getting shabby. So they're gonna go and be replaced by those. And then let's see, let's get the food stuff out of the way. They have Libby's brand, pineapple tidbits. 
they're in the cup, little cup in there, and you get three. And this says, in extra light syrup, Best Buy is August of 23. I thought that was a great deal. So we picked up one of those to have. And then they also had the diced, diced mangoes, also in the little cups. And this says, in extra light syrup. And the best buy on the mangoes is June of 23. So we just picked up one of each of these just to have on the shelf when, you know, if we want them, if the grands want them, why not Libby's brand, guys? I thought that's excellent. And I had showed this in one of my previous hauls recently. It was this salsa that I did not realize was made by Frito-Lay. And it is a product of Canada. This is the Santita's Mild Salsa. We tried this the other day, guys, and you see we picked up another one. This is good, very good. This is the mild. We I didn't try. I know there's a hotter level of it, and I can't remember if it's medium or hot, but we, we like mild. This is so good. I had it with chips and salsa, just tortilla chips from the Dollar Tree. This is delicious. And I will probably buy more of this. If it's on the shelf, I will be buying this. It is good. And even hubby absolutely loved it. And it is a, how many ounce jar? 15.5 ounce jar. And the best buy is March of 23. So the shelf life isn't that great on this. But I'm telling you, we almost used up the entire jar when we opened it. That's how good this salsa is. So if you see it, pick it up. And I know the one that we opened, it also had a March expiration date or Best Buy. So if you see it, grab it. It's good. I'm telling you, try it. If you're a sauce person, you'll like it. And then I picked up a few more things for in the kids. Valentine goodie bags. I need to get these put together and done. They had the, um, the Starburst this time. And it says 10 fun size packs. And they're the original flavors. Cherry, orange, strawberry, and lemon. So I'm going to separate these and put them in their little goodie bags. Everybody likes Starburst. The best buy is January, January of 24 on those. Ten little bags. I'm going to open it and see like how many pieces do you get in a um, in a packet. It feels like two. It feels like there's two candies in there. So I'll separate those up. Each grandkid will get two little packs of Starburst. And then, <laughs> yep, these are for me, guys. These are the Grape and Strawberry High Chews by the Morinaga Company. These are delicious. If you like the flavor of Concord grapes, real Concord grapes from the vine, that type grapes, try these. They are delicious. I love them. And the strawberry, <clears throat> the strawberry is great too. And these only come out in our stores every once in a while. And they had a whole big strip of them. So hubby is the one that actually grabbed them and put them in the cart first. And then I saw them because I always make him get his own cart and go wander around. And I had a feeling he put them in the cart and he did. So I didn't grab a pack. One of these is good to have on hand. And they're kind of layered, like the little... Grape flavors on the inside. I'm not quite sure what the outer layer is, but it still tastes like grape. And the strawberry, they're just good. And it's horrible of me, but I always try to find the packs with more. You can see through this little section here. I always try to find a pack that has more grape in it than strawberry. They're delicious. And then and another food item. I think that this is it for the food, guys. They have Russell Stover's chocolates. I don't know if I've ever seen the Russell Stover's Pretty Little Valentine Heart candies in the Dollar Tree. And it says you get three flavors and three pieces. So it's not that great of a deal. You only get three pieces of candy in here. And it's the, the they do have the flavors written on the back. And it's milk chocolate, caramel, dark chocolate coconut, which hubby will love, and then milk chocolate vanilla cream. But it's Russell Stover's. I am going to open this because this is for me. I love Russell Stover's candy. Oh, it's in a clear, if you can see that. it's a, It has a clear cover. Is it a cover or a foil? 
It's a foil. It pulls up. It has three nice size, very nice size candies in there. So if you want something to give to your kids, teachers, babysitter, you know, your favorite aunt, grandma, whoever, these are wonderful. The hubby will definitely get, and they smell good. Mm, hubby will definitely get the coconut one. I'm not a super big coconut fan, but he is. So yeah, they had these right alongside all of the other little, little candies with, you know, the, the heart shaped packaging. I think that's great. And I did pick up a couple other boxes of these just to check to see if there were different flavors. There were not. They were all the same. But that's for me. And then for in the Valentine packs, I picked up two of these. These are the Wacka packs. They're the little balloons. And you whack them real hard with your hand and they puff up into a balloon. The kids get a kick out of these. I don't know why, but they do. And it's a four pack and it also comes with the little strings that you can attach to the balloon once you do it. So I picked up two of these, just a fun little, little thing to put in each of them. The kids love these things and they're just all different too. I liked that, like there are a couple here on each end that kind of goes more for a boy and we have one grandson. So just grab two packs of those to throw in there fun little gift. Then guys, in like where they have all of their picture frames and knickknack type stuff, they had all these pretty little houses and it's probably going to be hard for me to show the detail on this. These are like a, I don't know how to describe it, like a raw ceramic, if that makes sense. Like you could paint these and it is detailed. It has the window and the front door and doors. There's even detail on the sides, windows on the sides. And I put it in the bag with these, and you can see I got blue paint on them. So I'll just use a, a scrubby or something, and I'm sure it'll come right off because these are raw. They had this style. This one almost looks like you could put a light in it. I would not. There's no vent openings anywhere, but the back is opened for some reason. Just a different style, and you can see the blue paint. Let's see if I can hold these for you. Very nice detail on these. And this one also is open in the back and it is another totally different style. But I thought these would just be fun. Like I'm gonna keep them till closer to Christmas time and see if the grandkids wanna kind of paint them up kind of gingerbread style. I just think they're really pretty. And I'd say they're probably, I don't know, they're, they're this tall, probably about four inches, I'd say. But I thought they were nice. So I grabbed one of each, each style that I saw. I don't know if there are other styles out there or not, but very pretty. And they seem very sturdy too. So I went ahead and just grabbed one. What are these called? Do they have a name? No, I don't see, you know, sometimes it just says decor or whatever, but nothing on that. And then what else? They had these. I'm pretty well stocked up on paper towels because they've had those two packs, which I think is a great deal. It's like buy one, get one free. But this time when I went, they had these. And these are the type paper towels that I like. These are the, the custom size. They're kind of smaller sheets. I really like them. And it's this one you get 176 instead of 140. So I went ahead and grabbed one of these and it is, they're just the, the um, Dollar Tree brand. I like them. They do well for us. We don't have a problem with them at all. So when I saw that, I grabbed it. I didn't see any more of the two, two packs. I would have got that instead. But yeah, went ahead and grabbed it. But I think I'm pretty well stocked on, on paper towels for a little while. Now I need to stock back up on napkins. I was almost completely gone with napkins. Didn't have any on the shelf downstairs. So I need to grab a few of those. And a couple more boxes of tissues just in case to have, have put away. <clears throat> Let's get through the, through this winter and all these weird diseases that are flying around, going through tissues like crazy. But anyway, guys, that is it for this haul. I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. And, you know, I think I'm going to jump right into a, um, 
a finds and fails video for you guys for tomorrow. I ha think I have enough here to go ahead and do one. So you're going to see me in the same shirt. I'm going to go ahead and do it and get this stuff out for the trash. So I hope you guys are doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.